Hi, Doug Miller, Furniture Fair in Fairfield. I'm going to talk to you today about the two different heights uh, that people are using mostly for their dinettes. And I'm going to go over the features and differences of both. So the dining height we've been using for years, so everybody knows that that's the regular dining height. The table is gonna be 30, and then your seat is gonna be 18. Always 12 inches of thigh space. One thing nice about the dining height, that's a plus, if you have a table and maybe you only bought six of the chairs and you need to bring in four other chairs from a different room, it's hard to find four different counter height chairs. Pull a desk chair from the, the kid's bedroom for extra seating. You're not gonna be able to do that on counter height because it's not the normal seat like you have in most of the other rooms. At my house, I have a counter overhang in my kitchen. On some of these tables, they make a counter height. So you could buy, you know, table and six or eight of these chairs, and you could buy the matching counter chair to go with it for your counter overhang. It just makes it easier if you're all the same height. So when you're using a regular height, again, I'm young enough still that it's not that big of a deal. I can still stand up pretty good. But as you noticed, I used this to push down on why I stand up, because I'm all the way down, and now I'm going all the way back up. When I'm in this chair, it's just sit down and then I'm already pretty much standing up. It really is a preference to you though, so if you have any other questions about the counter height or regular height, feel free to call me at Fairfield or any of the representatives or our website um, and get information that way.